Well, at first, I wrote hundreds of letters every week begging somebody to take my case. Eventually, a girl that I was nice to because she was pregnant, and I would bring her cookies, she wrote her a lawyer and asked her to take a look at my case. Hillary came on, took a look at my case. She was the first person to say, I believe you, but I don't know how we're going to approve it. And I said, that's okay. If I've got one person that believes me, we can make it through. So we started out, and I started working in the law library and researching it and telling her, you know, this is what we need. Uh, eventually, you know, people began to realize that I truly was innocent, and one of those church volunteers that came into the prison went to Northwestern University's wrongful conviction clinic and asked them to take my case. So you said that lawyer was the only person that believed in you. Besides my family, yes. You lose every single friend that you have. Um, nobody, nobody wants to stand up for you. My family, they stood up for me. They always believed in me. My baby brother was 17. He quit school and started working three jobs and took care of me. And him and my mother raised my child when I gave birth. They made sure I saw him every week. They were my rocks. Everybody else disappeared. They, they kept me encouraged. And my son, Trent, kept me motivated to fight. He was the reason I walked out of that prison. I mean, there was times that it was very, very hard, and um, I mean, you know, when, when evidence came forward in trial that said there was accelerant found in my child's bedroom, and then 10 years into my incarceration, I found out that that had been an altered report, and the original report was in a file that said there was nothing found in my child's bedroom, at that moment, um, I would have fought anybody because I was so devastated that somebody would intentionally take my life, intentionally make me look like this person that I absolutely wasn't. But in the beginning, it was, it was hard. It was hard to stay strong. It was hard to keep fighting.